Hey, welcome everybody. Uh, today we are going to work on the 576. Hopefully we get some good video. All right, if you have a question, you can type it in the chat box. I'll see if I can uh, keep up with it. Let's see here, want to do what to get this going. Nope, that won't work. Can I pop this out? Let's see. Pop it out. Yep, okay. All right, I have the chat popped out on another screen. So we got, can you hear me okay? And I guess we'll begin. All right, what I've done is I've taken the liberty to do a, a few things <coughs> off camera. I glued the doublers on so we're not watching glue dry for this. I also took this to work and drilled the landing gear holes. And I glued the rudder on. If you'll notice, I have it in an offset. I don't know whether you can see that or not, but that's okay. The bell crank and push rod. This is out of the airplane I just crashed. So save your hardware. And this morning I went ahead and mounted it in there. Now it's just it's just suspended with glue. It uh, it doesn't have the squares on it yet, but we'll get to that in a minute. Today we're going to join the wings. I've shimmed up the, the uh, I had it shimmed, what happened to the piece? There it is. I figured out how far the uh, cores were out. And they're out a sixteenth of an inch on the outboard side. So you want to shim them up till they're straight. Now what I'm going to do, as per the directions, <laughs> we, have, we have the directions. This is a simple kit. I can't. Uh, so here we go. We've installed the controls with the standard foam wing procedures. I had to relieve some of the foam so that the bell crank would swing freely. You want to make sure you have. Uh, you know, plenty of room so you don't get any binding. It says join the wing panels with five minute epoxy. So we're going to join the wing panels with five minute epoxy. These things that I get from work are great. What they are are tape containers for black tape, 3M black tape. They make great epoxy mixing containers because then you can just squash it and the epoxy will pop out. So let's wipe this out. Let's see. I don't have any questions yet, so I don't can't give any answers. Let me know if you're uh, can hear it okay. Don't worry, guys. We're still working on the Tucker, but we're not gonna. I'm not gonna work on that till I get over to John's house. I want to do the last videos of the Tucker build in a better format. So let's mix up some five minute epoxy. I got the, uh, this is the, uh, I believe it's Bob Smith stuff. And I'm going to do something that uh, I don't have any popsicle sticks. So I'm going to mix it with a brush. I know you can't do that. Well, I've been doing it forever, so it don't matter. So we want to make sure to get quite a bit of epoxy in there.
raining outside, so there's not much to do except build this airplane. We're not, it's not a science project, so you just want to get approximately 50-50. That looks about right. TLAR. What a bonehead thing I did with my other profile. Not checking the hardware. See, I make mistakes. Okay, got it mixed up good. Now, I have a piece of wax paper between the uh, foam core and the uh, and the wing. So you want to use quite a bit of epoxy here. You don't want a cheap, crappy joint on this. Have to get another piece of wax paper. I don't want all this crappy glue on my wing. Alright, I had some glue drip down on this. We don't want that, so we're going to set it underneath this side here. And we just change it out. That's what we'll do. Come on. It's one of the reasons why I don't like doing things on camera. Because it's hard for me to think about the camera and do what I'm doing. Okay. Yep. We're kicking off now. I feel it already. So you want to hold this together and it won't take long for it to bond because like I say it's kicking off. Hopefully it don't cause a fire over there. <laughs> it's hot. Mixtures are a little too hot, but that's okay. I didn't want to hang around and hold this for very long anyway. So let's sight down the trailing edge to make sure it's straight. Pretty dang good. Let's see what we have for 
viewers, watchers, etc. We have seven viewers. How many thumbs up? We got two likes. All right. Send them super chats if you can. They help. Hopefully it's not too blurry. You know, people say, well, it's blurry, whatever. Well, if you guys want to come and shoot the video and edit it, I'll be more than happy to do that. But this way I don't have to edit it. It's just out there raw. You guys get what you get. Okay. So now, in the kit. Yep, glued together. Didn't take long at all. In the kit, it has fiberglass tape. This is probably a pretty important step when doing a wing like this. The fuzzies pulled out of it. Now we're not going to do this next step with Instacure epoxy. We're going to do it with slow set epoxy. So I'll do that and I'll pick this up, set it aside, and we'll work on the fuselage and the elevator. So now I need to find slow set. Well, that's 30 minutes there. And here's some 15. Huh. Might have thrown it out. Okay, so it looks like we're stuck with 30. People say, well, you can't do it with 30. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Okay, about these uh, containers I was telling you about. These are the 3M tape containers. I just mixed that epoxy in it. It dried. And you just pull it out and you can use it again. Hey Steve, thanks. So if you can get a hold of the 3M black electrical tape, that's what these containers come from. So we'll use the same container again. Crash making machine here, buddy. Okay. Get another uh, acid brush. And my scissors here. I hope this, these scissors will cut fiberglass tape. I wonder if I got uh, some better tape in this box. I really don't care for that tape. Here's my box of goodies. 
Let's see what we got in here to. Uh, and here's some more of these. Oh, we got fiberglass tape. Let's see what we got in here to use on this airplane. Uh, I need a control horn. I. Be nice if I had a control horn. Oh, gonna need them motor pads. I got lots of them. Ah, there we go. Two inch, nine foot. Let's use that tape there. Be nice to have a horn. Where are you? I know you're in here somewhere. And we got cloth hinges. Might use them. Uh, I gotta have to keep use them out. Man, I got stuff here. And we need that. I don't know, I'll probably have to dig through this shit at a later time. Yeah, here's a wingtip skid, but uh, that ain't a horn. Here's some more fiberglass tape. Glass cloth. Yeah, I know I've seen a horn in here somewhere. Here's what Jerry needs for his uh, nobler. I'll bring that to work. He said, what? Yeah, Pat Crather. Oh, well. I'll look for the horn here. Later, when I might have to make a horn. Yeah, got them axles for them landing gear. Man, I got stuff. Okay, that's enough. We know we got uh, the tape anyway. Tom gives you this big old honking tape, but it it, it needs to be pink, pinking sheared or whatever. I don't think this is long enough, this thin piece, so we're going to use this two inch stuff here. It's a... Uh, Glass cloth, nine foot of two inch wide. There should be plenty here for that. Yeah, I don't care about that. Okie dokie. All right. So now we need some epoxy. We 
we're doing these joints here, you need to use slow set. 30 minutes fine. It'll be fine. Here again, you want ample amount. That looks like enough. If not, I'll have to mix some more. It ain't enough. I could tell already. Because we're going to really coat it good. You don't want this wing to fold up on you. That's pretty close. Come on, I got a dent in there. That's one thing that's bad about not having any place to work. A little dent there, I have to sand it out. But I don't have a workbench or anything. And I got to make do with what I got. Okay. Please no comments. Make, can't mix epoxy with a brush. Well, I'm doing it because I don't have any popsicle sticks. And yes, I am going to build another big profile like my, like the one I crashed. Only I'm not going to use a foam wing. I'm going to do a built-up wing. Want it lighter. Okay, we got that. Probably should have rounded the leading edge before I did this. Oh well. We'll make it right.
You can't do that. Yeah, watch me. This was getting ahead of myself a little bit by uh, not rounding that leading edge, but that's, that's okay. It'll be fine. So, I need to do what here to get that rounded? Where the hell are all my sanding blocks? Yeah, there we go. Remember, it's only wood. That's what my buddy John says. It's only wood. be fine. The older I get, the more I'm losing it. On my new airplane, yes, it will be the way that I did the uh, the Tucker. This shit's starting to kick off already, too. Must be hot in here. So, we need to make hay. Nope, it's kicking off. Well... I get I don't know what the heck's going on here. But you don't want to spread kicked off epoxy. So let's make up some more. A little less harder in it. It's supposed to be 50-50. About as 50 50 as you can get.
Looks like I'm not going to have enough, though. Damn. Nope. You definitely want this a good joint. There we go. Okay. Man. I'm having a heck of a time here, Lola. I just hate it. There is just absolutely no room to work here. Careful of the floor, not to get anything on the carpet. Okay. One last piece and we're done. Cut it right here. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but... I'm sorry, I just don't have the room. So let's do this. We'll get this out of the way. This shit needs to go in the trash. We'll pull out these two cores so I can open them up. Root tip. Yeah, I don't like that again. <laughs> it's a good thing I turned it over to look. OK. 
I don't want to hear no whining about you don't have no room to work. I'm doing this in a, I can see my living area is at about a hundred square feet. Okay. These Harbor Freight brushes are cheap, but boy, the hairs fall out of them. I mean, not that it matters, but if you were doing some type of finishing resin work, it would look like crap with all the black hairs hanging out. Somehow we got through that without making a huge mess. Small, but... The z epoxy finish would be an experience with no room. I might do that on a coffee table. Okay, wings joined. Let's see, we got some. I know I saw alcohol around here somewhere. <sighs> Hydrogen peroxide, alcohol, and uh, paper towel. Okay. A little bit of glue here. It's, uh, this is not finishing glue. It, it's a, uh, you know, regular epoxy. So it's not z epoxy. That means it doesn't sand where the dam. So when you get any glue epoxy on something, try to get it off. We use some 91 proof alcohol. I'll see if that'll take it off. Yeah. I guess you could use denatured alcohol, methanol or whatever. That worked okay. Okay, now it's a matter of wait for that to dry. So We'll set this part aside. And work on something else. Let's see, how long have we been running here? We have been running, oh, it doesn't say. I need my mouse. There we go. Nine likes, five viewers. How is that possible? Oh, by the way, I had some problems with uh, the 
Gypsy. Some people couldn't connect or whatever. I didn't. Re Every time I use Gypsy, now I have it shut off now, that I'm running through a proxy server. So I, if I turn the proxy server off, Gerald from New Zealand and some of the other guys that couldn't get on should be able to get on. All right. Take a look at it, make sure that it's all down good. Okay, we'll stand this up in the corner. All right. Get rid of this shit. Now, the kit comes with a 3 h cheat cow. I didn't like that, so I made a copy of a copy of it, make it half an inch. I will cut this part off and use it on the inside of the fuselage for more support at the leading edge. Cut off right back to the leading edge, so that you know it's still a profile, but. Uh, It'll have more, more support at the, the nose. You, you, you know, I can't, you just can't have enough support on the nose. All that vibration. So let's whack this apart. Back saw. I'm going to get me some of them Japanese. Japanese uh, finishing saws. For you young guys that are out there watching me do this, I know that I make it look easy. Be very careful. These things are sharp and you can cut yourself. I've cut myself. Like a chef when he's in there in the kitchen cutting away on his the meat and all that, he makes it look easy. But boy, if you get cut with one of them knives, you old guys that are watching me and, and just listen to that, if you cut yourself, well, that's on you. <laughs> I'll say I didn't warn you. I can remember, I don't know, about what was I building? I was building one of my Thunderbolts, so it had to be in 07, so it's 05 to 07. So it's about 15 years ago. 14 years ago, I was cutting uh, some sheeting for molding, and I had the straight, straight edge out there, and I was sliding along the way. I cut the side of my finger off, and I, it was just like slow motion. My finger was in the way. 
but didn't phase me. Just super glued myself back together and kept on working. Okay. Now I don't have. My mother gave me a saw. I'm going to have to, uh, now we won't worry about this. We'll just get it cut out close and grind it. Take a Dremel and grind up to the line. I say it's time for a new blade. Oh well, that's close enough. It's just a rough cutout for now anyway. So we have the tea towel, inner and outer. We might, we might go ahead and hinge this with the old style cloth hinges. If I can find some Ambroid. <laughs> Let me clean up this mess. We're going to need to tack glue the wingtips together. I'm going to have to go out in the car and get my uh, wingtip weight box out of the other thing. Here's the stab for it. So, you know, I keep looking for my sanding blocks. I know nobody's been in here, but my sanding blocks are missing. Where did I put them? Who would steal sanding blocks anyway? Oh, there's one. There we go. All right, we're going to uh, round over the leading edge on the stab. I do all this shit by eye, so. See, that's how quick it goes one side. So we'll rough in the other side. Now the elevator, we might taper that. But this is a flat tab, so get a nice leading edge on it.
Tom says quick build. He's not kidding. I mean, all the work is done for you. Like I said, I think this is an art. This is not. This is all depends on how much work you want to put into it, how good you want to sand these, and how nice you want to make it. But to me, this is a utility airplane, so we're not going to put a whole lot of work into it. I'm thinking about just leaving it clear, Z proxy finish, and then shoot some automotive clear on it, put some stickers on it, my numbers and stuff. I put the stickers on in vinyl when I sell it because I know it will get sold. Uh, somebody can just put a heat gun to it and peel the stickers off and put theirs on it. Okay, I went from 80 to 180. That looks pretty good. Yeah, I hit it with 320. I get this red 320 sticky back from Amazon. This is the best paper I've ever used. It doesn't clog, it lasts a long time, it sands well. Let's see, we got another question here. Yeah, I bought, I sent Jamie Holford the money for uh, OS 36LA, 46LA, so whenever it gets here, this week it should be here. Could monocoat this thing too. I have some monocute. Thing bad thing about monocoat is it makes it like a toy airplane. To me. I know there's plenty of guys out there that like it. Need to have, uh, no, I can't remember his name. The guy from Las Vegas helped me Monaco. He does a great job. Okay. So now, let's see how it fits. Perfect. How's it look in the candle? Perfect. All right, so now let's do the fuselage. Now how I do these is I've drawn a center line down, center of the canopy down to the beginning of the rudder. And we'll just take the uh, 80 grit sandpaper from the top and taper down towards the uh, bottom. I was at home 
I'd be using my 30 grit paper for this. But done. I've got this new paint at work. It's black. Man, it's good stuff. Shiny. Covers in one coat. I just wondered how much it weighs. We might try that. Black Ringmaster. Have to paint it like the Zap Machine. Now Tom says he wants you to fiberglass this whole fuselage, but I'm not going to do that. Probably why his came out some nose heavy or tail heavy, I mean. Dug into the rudder there. A little, a little fast. So you want to leave the uh, Stabilizer area with as much meat on as you can to hold that stab. Hello, Enrique. Buenos tardes. It might be Buenos noches for you now. All right, one side is done. So let's move on to the uh, inboard side or the outboard side. See if we can't make it symmetrical. Take me longer to clean the mess up than it did to do the job. I 
okay, we have a we have an interesting issue here where it transitions. The, the block doesn't want to doesn't want to sand right, so we'll have to take some extra care to get that transition right. Okay, that's rough then. Like I said, we're just going to have to work on this spot right here with no block. It'll have to use open hand. That's better. Went from uh, 80 to 180. Now the instructions didn't say to do what I'm going to do here, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do just to make it a little more durable. And it's probably not necessary, but I'll have to think about it. I, the landing gear go through doublers and half inch balsa wood. There's no hardwood between the doublers there. So I'm thinking about drilling a hole and putting some dowels in there. So now that you've got the shape, you want to come back and take the line off. You don't want that crappy line in there. down there and look at it looks pretty good. All right, I you know pictures don't do it justice but the shape is there. It's tapered as opposed to square. And we're just going to round this over on the bottom, just in a round uh, configuration. It's not going to have any taper in it. That's the nice thing about building these model airplanes. It's whatever you want to do. I mean, I, I can't tell you how to do it. I can show you what I do. But if you're an airplane, you can have them anywhere you want. Bye. That's why I got kind of miffed at some of the guys for getting on Charles for what he wants to do. Heck, if he wants to build them and not fly them, that's up, totally up to him. I see you so wonder how the heck did he stand that in there so quick? Okay. Yeah, a little thick right there. Uh, 
So now you switch to 320. <sighs> you guys want, I can uh, open up a Jitsi and take some questions. But I think that's going to about do it for today's session on this. Kind of burned out. It'll take me half an hour to clean up all this mess. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to open up a Jitsi. Turned out nice. Okay, that, that way I can look for my look for my uh, elevator horn. Let's see, we got a we got a pin here somewhere. I know I do. <laughs> oh well. Then we'll sand an airfoil into that as well into the rudder. All right, guys, that's uh, going to be it for today. Appreciate you stopping by and watching. Uh, like, subscribe, share. And uh, we'll do some more videos with the uh, with the Tucker. I haven't done anything on the Tucker special, like I said, so you're not going to miss any of the action on action, uh, any of the building on the Tucker. So appreciate you watching. There we go. Like, subscribe, share the videos. Till I see you again, Fairwinds Tight Lines. Keep building. See ya.